Yeah. I've actually never been on a dating site. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's where you find love. Well, maybe that's why I've been looking at the wrong places. Do you know where I do date? Where's your go-to spot for dates? Where do I go to or how like, do I where, meet people? Well, what's your most common place of meeting someone? Yeah. Tattooing. Really? See, I don't think you need to work in... I know. That's what I've just learned. I can't do that anymore because like... I get to know people and it's such an intimate setting and it's mm. like I fall in love with people and their stories and it's like I don't really go out because when I do I'm sort of a menace to society so it's just safer if I stay home. Mm. So yeah, I've met a lot of people here and I don't want to do that anymore. It's such a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think the last weird. guy I met was here and I was oh, fuck, I fell in love instantly. I was having another baby. I was so in love. I was like, oh my God, you're the most beautiful person I've ever met. And then he just like went to a baby shower one day and didn't come home. And I was like, oh, it's a bit of a red flag. What do you mean? He just like didn't come home and he wouldn't answer my phone calls. And, and so I was just like, oh, I don't think this is going to work out. And then like the next day he posted a picture of him and another girl on Instagram. I was like, oh, that's a bit rough. But I'm um, glad I dodged that bullet. Fuck me. How I was going to have that motherfucker's baby. How did that go down? It just was weird. Is this all like, this is the hard part where... I guess people aren't super clear on where yeah. they, they stand in yeah. a relationship or it's not even a relationship it's mm. like if you're hooking up. Like I'm trying so hard now yeah. to be a hundred percent transparent, yeah. transparent yeah. and vulnerable. And just, this is me, this yeah. is where I'm at. Just laying it like, out. Laying it all out on the table. And yeah. it's like, if you want that, sweet. If you don't, sweet. Yeah. Like no hard feelings. Like yeah, be, be just a grown be honest. Up. Yeah, yeah, be a grown up and be like, hey, this is what I'm at. Yeah. If you're not there, all good. If you are there, all good. Like it's fine either way. But people are so scared about saying how they actually feel because yeah. they're so worried about the reaction that the person's going to make. It's so true. But you're just lying to yourself and the other person. Well, so, yeah, it's something you heard eventually because yeah. you, you, you think differently than what they think or you're trying to figure out what they think. And then you're like, oh, we're in love. We're about to get married. We're about to have babies. And then mm. you're like, oh, no, actually, I'm not coming home. And now I'm with another girl. Yeah, and yeah. You're like, whoa, where did that come from? Well, it kind of started from, like, how it always starts. So I'm definitely dating. So I have the same fucking problem. I, they get jealous of, like. Because you're friendly with other girls. Yeah, I literally love everyone. And so yeah. that, to an insecure person, is very intimidating. Mm. And so this is how I get into these controlling relationships is because I want to make them feel secure that I will give away myself. I'll be like, oh, okay, you don't want me to talk to that person? I won't talk to that person. It's super fine. I'd rather you be happy because I fucking love you. Yeah. But then, then I, I'm lying to, to myself. They yeah. control one thing and like, oh, maybe I'll... Like, well, that's I'll, what happens. Yeah, it's it's a, a fucking domino effect because I let them dictate who I can and can't talk to, what I can and can't wear, where I can and can't go. And at the end, I'm just like, who the fuck am I? And how did I get in this position again? Mm. And so, yeah, he was a little bit jealous of like people that like I work with, people that I've been in relationships with that I'm still friends with. He was like, not okay with that. And I was like, well, I'm not changing who I fucking am for anybody. And he kicked up a bit. He was like, well, I fucking... I don't fuck with that. And I was like, why don't fuck with this? And then we just went on for a little bit and I was like, ah, this is a bit weird. This is the bit that I never understand. It's like, if I wanted to cheat on you or if I wanted to hook up with other people, yeah. I would. Yeah. It's like you saying all this stuff isn't yeah. going to change that. It's Look, like, I see it for what it is. It's like, you just, they don't want to get hurt. So they're protecting their feelings. They're, they don't want that. He don't said to me, like, he said, yeah. if I surround myself with people that I've had past relations with, then I'm going to like go there again. Or like, he's like, I, I, don't, I trust you, but I don't trust guys. And I was like, fuck off. What does you that don't trust mean? me. Yeah, like, what does that mean? Like what? Yeah. You think you're going to like, a guy's going to fucking rape me? Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like, I have to be into it as well. Like, 100%. It's, not, it's a two way street. So I was just like, I see that for what it is. And in the past, I would give in and I would allow them to have that power. But I dug my heels in. I was like, nah, sorry. Yeah, like, gas, like, it's like gaslighting. Oh, 100%. So much gaslighting. Oh, and I know so much about that now, thanks to therapy. I read, it, <laughs> I read a good book. It's literally called Gaslight. Changed my fucking life. I know it's like, it's so, you know when you buy like a red car and then you see a red car everywhere? Mm. But for me, I didn't know what a narcissist was or what gaslighting was mm. until I read books about it. <laughs> Did and I realize now, I was married to I, one? I see that shit everywhere. <laughs> and I'm like, how the fuck did I not know this was a thing? And everyone else knows about it. And I was like, how are you guys so smart about this? I have like, I don't know, self-diagnosed ADHD. And so I'm a fucking, I'm a light bulb for 
a narcissistic moth. They're like fucking drawn to me. Cause like in the beginning, like I just love to relate to people. So I want to get to know you as soon as fucking possible. And to like a narcissist, they're just like, they're fucking cataloging all your information to use against you later. And then yeah, you're up shit creek without a paddle. It's rough. It's so rough. And so now it's like, I feel like because I've been in so many toxic relationships and I'm really terrified that I'm just like such a bad judge of character because I just think everyone's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. And like, like not everyone is. And like, that's, that's okay. I, have, I can accept that. The worst thing about that is what we talked about before, how when you do deal with people like that, then you put up a wall and you get resentful and you yeah. stop living in your ma- uh, feminine and stop yeah. living more in your masculine. And it's like, this isn't me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're so scared to get hurt again that uh-huh. you have to like, use that as like body armor absolutely going into a relationship and then someone's trying to like pull down the, the walls and the issues and the trauma and it's just like you're putting up such a strong fight yeah and it's like then how long do you fight before you just give up on that person and go this isn't like like this it's like too like damaged goods almost like yeah it's too much for me i won't fight for that shit anymore i i gave up the good fight when my family broke down like so i gave everything to that and when that fell apart, I was sort of like a bit jaded. I was like, I'm done. Like, I will not fight for someone to love me mm. ever fucking again. It's like, love me or don't. Bye, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, there's no fucking, I don't have any patience for that anymore. And you realize it's fine either way. Yeah. Yeah. I used to, um, so I had this girl in my life. And it's crazy because what you don't like in others is what you're lacking in yourself. And so she was very, like, direct and said what she wanted and she got what she wanted all the time. And for me, as a people pleaser, I was always like, oh, my God, she's so rude. Like, ah, can she not just, like, bend over so we all, like, work together? But she's always like, no, this is what I want. No, I'm not going to go there. I'm not doing this. I'm not being a part of that. And I would always just like overextend myself and just do everything. And I'd be like, I don't want to fucking do it. And I was always miserable. Mm -hmm. Whereas now I'm like, I've kind of taken on her values and I don't go to places that I don't want to go now. And I don't do things that I'm not interested in. And I just, I, she always pops into my mind and I was like, she triggered me so fucking much because I wanted to be like her. Mm -hmm. I loved how staunch she was like, like she knew her worth. And she wasn't fucking discounting that for no motherfucker. And I was always jealous. I was always so jealous. And now I'm like, you know what? This just got going on. I'm going to take a leaf out of your tree. And now it's just like, she's such a role model for me. And I don't see her as rude anymore. I see her as someone who knows her worth and her value. And she just doesn't. it. Yeah. It's so crazy. Just like that shift in perspective. I used to be a really jealous person. And I think that's because the people that I was in relationships with would always, like, have me questioning myself. And so, like, not being, like, letting go of my ego and jealousy has been the most freeing experience of my entire fucking life. Like, I tell myself this every day. Like, when I used to get jealous, it was because I would put things in scarcity. You know, like, with tattooing. I'd be like, oh, my God, she's such a better tattoo artist than me. Like, I fucking suck. And I put this scarcity on it, like there wasn't enough talent to go around. And now I have changed that and there's enough of everything. There's enough money, there's enough love, there's enough energy, there's enough of everything fucking good to go around. Like there is enough, there is so much. In fact, it's overflowing. And like ever since I shifted that perspective, I don't experience jealousy, like at all. 